I think Kenneth wrote that you were in the back of a car and some, I think Brian was talking about it and you were sobbing at the back <laughs> because it was just so tough to take and so, so difficult. Uh, but then, so you made the tough decision to quit, um, to at least for that point, leave the sport. But somehow I think the stars aligned with the gods. <laughs> you know, got you back into chat. I, I, you went to a media event, you spoke about it, you spoke about your grievances, and this gentleman came up to you, a f- tall figure, and he was none other than Ang Ping Siong. You know, a sports legend in his own right. Yeah. And he told that you was, that, hey, yeah. How was that? How was that for you? That was a, that was amazing. So it was a it was a focus group discussion at MCCY. Okay. Um and it was precisely to to allow people to discuss issues related to sports and mm-hmm. when um of course, I was like in awe that it was a great Ang Ping Siong, right? And uh, he, when he found out that I was kind of just left or forgotten, mm. you know, so uh, it, the flight didn't work out and I just stayed in Singapore and I had stopped and mm. nobody really cared. Mm. So on, on some level, um, you know, uh, I mean, um, I was sort of just invisible mm. uh, to the system and that, that was that was sad, but the good thing is Uncle Ping Siong, he, he reached out to me and when, when he found out that I was just left alone and then he offered me a, a job at his swimming school. Right. And um, I literally had zero money, literally yeah. no money. Right. And, and, but that meant so much because once he found out that I wanted to go to the NCAA and he himself was a product of the NCAA. Yeah. And what he did was... Uh, he actually told me to start looking, uh, looking up all the universities and then we typed out letters and then started sending it out to a lot of the, the Division One and Division Two universities trying to look for funding. Mm. So it was like a reigniting of, of this big uh, dream that I had. And it was, it was uh, amazing because it's uh, an act of compassion by someone that, that didn't need yes. to help me at all. Um, mm-hmm. And he literally told me not to give up my dreams. He literally yeah. dragged me back to the track. Um, and literally, by that job, I, I, I got paid, you know, weekly, like 200, 250 um, a week. And that really meant that I could start training again. And he was, th- that, that just gave me hope. And I, sure. I started running. So without that, wow, I would have left the sport. Yeah. 